So if we've t been talking about how stuff in the Earth's atmosphere can either be an open window or a closed window, kind of with that in mind, let's look at what clouds can do. And actually, cloud cover can have both effects of cooling the atmosphere and warming the atmosphere, but it depends on if the sun is out. And this is, this is very intuitive, but I'm going to go ahead and draw a picture anyway. So let's go ahead and say it's during the day. And let's go ahead and make, a lot of times clouds have these flat bottoms, and we'll be talking about flat bottoms. But a few slides ago when I talked, well, in, in this part I talked about the lifting condensation level. That's why they're flat. That's the elevation that condensation begins. So anyway, um, clouds, if the sun is out, can mostly provide a blocking effect. A little bit of an absorption, but basically they stop um, thermal energy from getting to the earth. I mean, haven't you ever just kind of felt that um, it's a sunny day, clear, and then all of a sudden a cloud comes between you and the sun and you get chilly, right? But at nighttime, clouds have the opposite effect. And here's how that looks. Um, at nighttime, let me go ahead and draw my cloud again. And I'll draw a moon. Okay, and then here is the Earth, okay, and remember that that the geosphere is a pretty good um, absorber of, of um, energy from the sun. So it basically has soaked up the solar radiation before, and it's what we say re-radiating thermal energy. And in that case, the clouds act like a blanket to kind of keep that thermal energy from escaping. So this has a warming effect. Clouds have a warming effect at night and a cooling effect during the day. Some of our coldest winter nights are the nights when we have no cloud cover.